In the sprawling universe of Frank Herbert's Dune, amidst the shifting sands and political machinations, stands a figure of immense influence and mystique. I am the Traveler, your guide through the lore of Dune and beyond. Today we journey into the heart of the Bene Gesserit to uncover the story of Gaia's Helen Mohayan, the Reverend Mother, whose wisdom and manipulation shaped the destiny of empires. In the novel Dune, the Baron Vladimir Harkonnen has this impression of Gaius Helen Mohayan. An old woman in a black abba robe with hood drawn down over her forehead detached herself from the emperor's suite. Took up station behind the throne, one scrawny hand resting on the court's back, her face peered out of a hood like a witch caricature. Sunken cheeks and eyes, an overlong nose, skin mottled with protruding veins. The baron still his trembling at sight of her, the presence of the Reverend Mother Gaius Helen Mohayan, the Emperor's truthsayer, betrayed the importance of this audience. Gaius Helen Mohayan is a name whispered with reverence and fear within the corridors of power. As the Emperor's truthsayer and a key architect of the Bene Gesserit's plans, her presence looms large over the saga of Dune. We must have a look at Paul Atreides on Caladan. Trained in the secretive and powerful ways of the Bene Gesserit, her life, dedicated to the manipulation of bloodlines and the cultivation of the Kwisatz Haderach, is a testament to the Bene Gesserit's long game. Behind the scenes, Mohayim operates in the shadows, shaping events and bending wills to the Bene Gesserit's purpose. Her expertise in political maneuvering and her capacity to see through deception make her an invaluable advisor to emperors and a formidable foe to adversaries. The prelude to the Dune prequel novels reveal that Mohayim is secretly the mother of Jessica, and grandmother of Paul. According to the authors, this fact was pulled directly from Frank Herbert's working notes for the original Dune series. Mohayim is instructed by the Bene Gesserit to collect the genetic material of Baron Vladimir Harkonnen through conception for their breeding program. She blackmails the homosexual Baron into fathering a child with her. When that daughter proves genetically undesirable, Mohayim kills it and then returns to Harkonnen for a second try, at which point he drugs and viciously grapes her. She exacts her retribution by infecting him with a disease that later causes his obesity. Though Mahayim kills her first child with Harkonnen, their second child is Jessica, Harkonnen's paternity having been previously established in Dune. Two decades later, Mahayim had become the truthsayer to Padishah Emperor Shaddam Karino IV. Perhaps most famously, it is at this time that Mohayim tested the young Paul Atreides before his departure for Arrakis with the Gom Jabbar. He must do everything the mother, mother tells you. The test was to discover whether Paul was truly human by trial of pain, using a small box that Paul placed his hand inside. The pain inflicted on Paul was caused by nerve induction and clearly drained an incredible amount of energy from the Reverend Mother, since no male or female child had ever withstood that much physical pain before. This pivotal moment revealed as much about the tester as the tested. Through this trial, we glimpse the Reverend Mother's ruthlessness and her deep commitment to the Bene Gesserit cause. Jessica, you were told to bear only daughters to the Atreides. At the heart of the Bene Gesserit's ambitions lies their meticulous breeding program, a project overseen with cold precision by Mohayim, aiming to produce a super being capable of accessing both male and female ancestral memories. Yet beneath her stern exterior, Mohayim is not devoid of internal conflict. Her dedication to the Bene Gesserit way is occasionally at odds with her own sense of morality and the toll of her actions, a duality that adds layers to her character. Mohayim traveled to Arrakis with the Emperor Shaddam during the last year of the Desert War two years later, in which Paul was the religious leader Moadib of the Fremen. After the Battle of Arrakeen, she was involved in the final confrontation. There she is faced with Paul's four-year-old sister, Kill her. Yeah. the pre-born Alia, whom she calls an abomination. Mohayim is further alarmed as she witnesses the ritual battle to the death between Paul and Fade Rautha. Paul calls Fade, cousin, revealing that Paul is aware of the secret that Baron Harkonnen is his grandfather. But Mohayim is most concerned with the potential outcome of the duel which could prove to be a major catastrophe for the Bene Gesserit breeding scheme. She realizes that two end products of the long and costly program faced each other in a fight to the death that might easily claim both of them. 
If both died here, that would leave only Fate Routh's bastard daughter, still a baby, an unknown, an unmeasured factor, and Alia the abomination. Paul is of course victorious, and seeing the inevitability of the situation she has orchestrated, Mohayim compels Shaddam to give in to Paul's demands, allowing Paul to depose him and become emperor in his place. She recognized to Jessica that Paul was indeed the Kwisatz Haderach, but was both angry at him and terrified of him. Mohayim would later join the conspiracy to topple the rule of Paul Atreides after he ascended the Golden Lion throne and unleashed his jihad upon the empire. She, along with Skatal, a Telaxu face dancer, Edric, a guild navigator, and Irulan Carino, embittered wife of Paul Atreides, plotted to insinuate, as the Emperor's Reverend Mother, the Telaxu Gola Haidt, into the court to weaken Paul's confidence in his prescience and thereby ruin him. When the plot failed, forbidden to ever return to Arrakis, Wahayim is taken into Paul's custody when it becomes known that she is on the Highliner in orbit above the planet. Aware of the Bene Gesserit's desire to acquire his genetic material for their breeding program, Paul seeks to negotiate with Mahayim in exchange for the guaranteed safety of his concubine Shani and the sisterhood's acceptance of his decision to father no heirs with Irulan. Paul offers something of the utmost value, his sperm. This is a complicated proposition for Mahayim, however, because artificial insemination is forbidden in the wake of the Butlerian Jihad. When the conspiracy ultimately fails and Skatal is killed, Edric is executed in 10207 AG by Fremen Naib Stilgar on orders from Alia. Stilgar also puts Mohayim to death, despite previous orders from Paul to spare her life. As the dawn breaks over the sands of Arrakis, the legacy of Gaia's Helen Mohayim remains indelibly etched into the fabric of the Dune universe. Her actions, both seen and unseen, ripple through the saga influencing the course of history in ways that continue to fascinate and provoke. In the cosmic dance of power, prophecy, and survival, Gaius Helen Mohayim stands as a beacon of the Bene Gesserit's indomitable will. Thank you for joining me, the Traveler, on this exploration into the life and legacy of one of Dune's most compelling figures. Until our next journey, remember, the universe is a vast and mysterious place, filled with stories waiting to be told. Keep wandering, keep wandering, my friends. Until next time, safe travels.